hello and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here hi my name is Mary and in today's video I'll be showing you how I made this little snowman out of CDs so um, basically all you're gonna need is an old CD that's the main this is the main part and uh, you are also going to need a tea light candle I got pipe cleaners you can use any color you want but I'm gonna use blue you're going to need a saucer some paint blue and white paint brushes a pencil you are also going to need black paint um, cardboard and hot glue gun and hot glue sticks so what you want to do first is you want to take your CD and your paper towel um, you need this you're going to lay your paper towel out you will set your paper towel on top I'm just going to wipe this a little bit and you're going to set your paper towel on here to keep from making a mess and you're going to go in with your blue paint I'm just going to put a little bit of blue here that's about all I need and I am going to grab my white and I am going to put a little bit of white here wipe that little paint off my finger we're gonna go in with our paintbrush and I'm gonna dip it in here in the blue on one side and then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna dip it in the white on the other side so this is what we have and then I'm just gonna dap it here I'm gonna dip in the white and I'm dap it off just like this and what we're gonna do is go around the edge of the CD and you might you want to use the paper towel this is just gonna help keep your area clean and it does not have to be neat I'm gonna turn it around so I can get the other side the blue on the outside and the white mixed together is going to give it an ice over kind of look and set this to the side I'm set that there and I'm going to hold this up and this is what you should get so far this is what it looks like so far okay we're going to take set this to the side because I, I'm not going to go rinse it because I don't have that kind of time I'm going to grab my other paintbrush and you're going to go ahead and you're going to dip that in just the white this time. I'm going to squeeze a little more white onto my plate. So I'm just going to squeeze some white here. And I'm going to dip in it. And I'm just going to go on the inside now and do the rest of the CD in white. So I'm just gonna I'm just going all the way around the uh, CD in white. And you want to do you want to do at least two coats, but you want to let them dry in between coats. So I'm gonna lay that there. And this is what you should end up with. And I'm going to set that to the side because that has to dry. And I already have one all dry. So next, what we're going to do next is we're, we are going to take... I'm going to move this paint out the way because I don't need that no more. And we're going to take our cardboard. I'll set that there. And we're gonna draw out a shape which I have for the earmuffs. So you're gonna take your cardboard and you're you're gonna trace the shape that you want onto the cardboard. I already done this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and continue to trace this around this. That way I can get two equal pieces. So when you do that, when you do when you trace this on, you're gonna cut that out. 
and you're going to end up with a piece like this. And then what you're going to do, you're going to set that to the side. You're going to take your pipe cleaners and you're going to use your hot glue gun and we're going to take this and we're going to cover it in this and it's going to look like this when we get done. So we're just going to set that to the side and I'm just going to go ahead and um, cover this with the pipe cleaner and the glue gun gets very hot as you all know that so if you're a child and you're going to be attempting this project please get adult supervision before working with anything hot or sharp so we're just going to turn this and then we're just going to bend it and push it together to line up with the other one and I'm just going up and down and back and forth so basically what I'm doing is just going like this and then I'm gonna grab another piece to finish it off so we're gonna go ahead and put a piece here put some hot glue there and I'm just gonna stick this pipe cleaner on here just like that and then I'm going to continue to bend it and it's going to continue to go around so that didn't stick okay let's try this again we're going to hold that down and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to finish this off and you are so going to take that same cardboard and you're going to make use that to make the scarf and I'll show you how I done that also so we're just gonna go up and I got a little bit on my paper towel but that's fine there we go got that taken care of and then I'm just gonna bend this down for this last piece I'm gonna bend that over just like that and this is what we have and I'm just gonna cut this little piece off where's my scissors be right back Sorry about that. I got my scissors. We're going to cut that little piece off. And then we're going to go ahead. And like we got this one, I'm going to go ahead and start here. And I'm going to put hot glue and I am going to bend this around. So we're just going to grab some hot glue. And we're just going to go ahead and bend this to make the shape of earmuffs. This is very hot. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue to to hot glue this in, around into place. So this is all I'm doing is hot gluing this down into place. So I need a little more. Stick that down around and like that. And then we're just gonna put a little bit on the end right here like this and we're just gonna seal that off like that and we're gonna cut off that we're gonna cut off that excess there we go and I'm gonna put a little bit right here I'm gonna take my glue gun and I'm gonna put a little bit of hot glue here and I'm going to stick this little piece on it just like this. And this is what you should end up with. You should have two. I got glue on my fingers, but that's fine. It's fine. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to glue these into place so you're gonna have to look and see where you want them and I think mine's will be fine here so I'm gonna put some glue on them and I'm just gonna stick this down right here just like that I'm gonna reach over here and grab another glue stick and I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to glue this one down in place Mm -hmm. 
and this is what we should have so far now you're going to take another blue pipe cleaner and we're going to glue it from here to here just like this so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue that down into place and I'm going to bend it as I go to give it that curved look and I'm going to go ahead and finish it off I'm going to stick that down just like this and then we're, we have this little piece and we're just going to cut that off and this is what we have so far next what we are going to do is we got his scarf here and what I did was I took this piece I traced the piece onto the cardboard and I cut it out and I ended up with this and I'm going to do this the same way I did the earmuffs I am going to take the blue pipe cleaner and I'm, I'm, I, I am going to glue it into place. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of glue down here and glue this down in place. Bend up, twist, and go the opposite way. So basically what you're doing is you're going to glue down one way and then you're going to bend it and come up another way and then you're just going to continue to bend down and up. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue to build to glue this in place. So again we're going to fold down and push up and we're going to continue to do so. Um, this is a fun little project. I think um, kids may like to uh, do this. I got a, um, I'm attending a uh, crafting event tomorrow. It's called Tray Day. And it's basically where we can just go and set up in a booth in a place to sell our stuff. And there's lots of different things. There's crafts, there's homemade baked goods and s such, stuff like that. But, um... At these trade at these trade days, I usually end up working with the child because it's a, like a military community. So a lot of kids are homeschooled and they end up at the show or at the trade day building with nothing to do. So I end up with a lot of little kids at my table. So um, when I do those day those trade days and stuff, I make sure I take a lot of extra crafts with me that way if there is some kids there and if it's okay with their parents then I'll teach them how to make stuff and with it being you know Christmas just to right around the corner you know I figured why not show them how to make a nightlight you know because they're cute and I know a lot of kids use nightlights because some of them are afraid of the dark but um they're a cute idea to just have around your house. I make these and I set them on my um, the back of my toilet in my bathroom because um, I don't like, I don't believe in turning on lights at nighttime. I like to just try to feel my way around in the nighttime. So, yeah, these little snowman, snowman and Santa Claus lights help like a lot. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, and I did make. Um, a snowman one also and I'll show you that one in a minute so, yeah. so this is what you're gonna have when you get all done and I uh, went already did another blue piece which will go under the scarf like this so we're just gonna go ahead and glue those into place and I'm gonna set it on to see how I like it and how I want it to look okay that looks good so I'm just going to take some hot glue and put it on the back and then I am going to glue this into place. So just like this. 
and I am going to put a little bit of hot glue on this and I am going to stick this down just like that. And this is what we have so far. The only thing left to do is his eyes. And um, that's about it. Okay, so we got a little bit of hot glue on the back of this which is fine. I'm going to go ahead and move this paper towel cuz I don't I don't really need it no more. So for the eyes, this is this is how I do it. Y'all could do it any way y'all want to, but this is what works for me and um that's where this pencil come in. Because what I'm going to do with this pencil and this black paint, I am going to just put some black paint on my plate. Don't need very much, just a little bit. And what I do is I draw my eyes on before, and then I, I paint them in after I draw them. So um, I'm going to copy this one. So I'm just going to make some circle eyes. And um, so basically all I'm doing is drawing on some circles. Not perfect, but it's it's cool. And um, what I'm going to do now is I am going to take my pencil, and here's my eyes, but you can't see them. Well, you probably can, but I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to take my pencil, and I'm going to dip it directly in this paint. And then I'm just going to go ahead and trace around the paint. And you can, like I said, this part, you could do it any way you want to. I just do what's comfortable for me. This works better for me than actually painting it. I don't have a very study, sturdy, study hand. So, yeah, this doing it this way works for me. And I'm just going to continue to just dip this in here and trace around it. I'm actually going to be um, taking a paint class. I'd never painted before. I've always wanted to and now I have the opportunity to take a, 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 a paint class so I think I am going to um, to do it because it might be fun so yeah I'll let y'all know how that goes and then I'm just gonna go ahead and do all the way in I'm just gonna take the black paint and color all the way in the eyes gonna wipe it off and then I am going to do some little eyebrows right across the top and then we're just gonna go ahead and just do a a little black over the eyebrows and um, we're going to wipe our brush off again because we're going to dip into the white. Okay. And this is what you have so far. And next, I am going to take some white and I'm just going to put a little bit of white in there 
just like that. And then this is what we have so far. Next, our tea light. We're going to take our tea light and we're going to stick it right through the middle, just like that. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to take some hot glue. You can either put the hot glue around you can either put the hot glue around your tea light like this or you can put the hot glue the hot glue on this part of the CD, which is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to turn it my way so I can make sure it's centered. And if you put too much glue and it starts to ooze, it's um, it's an easy fix. Just grab your paintbrush and kind of wipe a little bit. And there you have it. And um, just turn it on. And there is your snowman night light and it sets up we see turn it back on if I can get it to stay on okay and then you just lay it down and it'll go well it, it will stay on it will stay on when you lay it down but um this one is not quite dry yet but um yeah I'm just gonna cut this one off and this is what you're gonna end up with and like I said, they do, you turn it on, and they do set just like this, and I keep it on the back of my toilet, and uh, and that's what I forgot to do. So, we're going to grab this one back, and um, I'm going to write her on a smile. I can't believe I forgot to give her a smile, y'all. Okay, so, let's go ahead and give her a big smile. And I am going to fix her eye because I messed it up when I bumped it. It's fine. A little more white paint. And now we're going to fix, give, go back and fix her smile. I'm going to turn her around. I can't believe I almost forgot to give her her smile, y'all. I can't believe I done that. It's fine. I bit I got up this morning very early and I've been on the go all morning. I am just now sitting down cuz normally I would have this video posted way early in the morning but I got with the with my craft show coming up tomorrow I kind of just got delayed but here's my smile and um here she is on if she would stay on but we're not gonna worry about it but this is her all done and I like I said before I think little kids would have a would have fun making this it's a cool little project of course you would have to help because of the high glue gun but I made this one here's another one that I made we can cut her off here's one that I've done and here is the Santa Claus one that I did which is so yeah I had a lot of fun making these and um, I plan on taking them with me to my um, craft show tomorrow. So, um, yeah, if y'all like this video, please give me a like and a thumbs up. And again, if y'all want to see me do any other craft, just leave it in the comment box below. I, I always try to go and read my comments when people leave them. So, um, yeah, I would like to know what y'all else y'all would like to see me do. So, once again, um, thanks for watching, and I hope y'all have a nice day. Bye.